Good morning, students. Let us start with the next class for letter handling today. In the previous video, we have discussed about the presentation in numerical form, where we discussed about mean, mode, median. I told you that when we are talk talking about statistics, we actually collect the data, we organize the data, we present the data, we analyze the data, we interpret the data, right? Similarly, in the presentation, there were two forms. One was the numerical, other was the graphical. In graphical, I told you, we will discuss only about bar graphs. We will discuss about bar graphs. Let's see what are bar graphs first. Bar graph is a presentation or representation is a represent. Representation, can you see the presentation on the board? Representation of a numerical data, of a numerical data, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, numerical data by a number of bars, by a number of bars. Bars means like rectangular, rectangular shape bars. Okay, rectangular shape bars. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five bars. Number of bars of uniform width drawn horizontally. Horizontally means like this. Horizontally or vertically. What do you mean by vertically? Vertically means 90 degree. Horizontally means 0 degree. Horizontally or vertically with equal spacing between them. With equal spacing between them. Are we clear? The spacing must be equal. You can't look it. Okay. These two are very close and these two are very far. Again closer, far. Again closer, far. That is not your bar graph first. Are we clear? Spacing must be equal. Secondly, uniform width. What do you mean by uniform width? Uniform width means this particular size, this particular size must be same for all. It doesn't mean that one bar is like this and other bar is like this not possible again it is not bar graph so equal width means if we are taking or if we are considering the bars the bars width must be same if i am talking this particular width let me consider let us consider this is a bar so every bar must have this width the, this should be same in each and every case are we clear and this is called length. Length can vary in this. For example, in the given figure, if you see, the length is varying. Here it is this way. Here it is somewhere there. Again. So length is varying. So what is bar graph? Bar graph equal width part varying height or length. Clear? Length can vary, but your width must not vary. Clear with this? Any doubt anyone is having. So, are we clear? Bar graph is the representation of a numerical data by a number of bars of uniform width drawn horizontally or vertically. Normally, we draw vertical bars only with equal spacing between them. Are we clear? Any doubt anyone is having with this? Okay, let's see further now. I have taken one example in front of you. This particular bar graph is representing the marks of a student in various subjects. The marks of the student in various subjects. Are we clear? The marks of a student are represented in various subjects and we are representing that particular data in the form of bar graph. So we are representing the numerical data in the form of bar graph. Are we clear? Let's see how to read first. If I ask you, uh, we will be drawing bar graphs tomorrow in the tomorrow videos. Okay, today we'll just learn what is bar graph, the basics of bar graphs. That how we read, how what analysis we can do, what interpretation we can take out from the given bar graph. Are we clear? Let's see. So in this particular graph, we have taken the marks from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100. 
again it's very important can you see the difference 10 minus 0 10 20 minus 10 10 30 minus 20 10 40 minus 30 10 there is equal spacing this is very important on the y axis this is called y axis the vertical axis is called y axis the horizontal axis is called x axis x axis y axis are we clear we can take this particular board as a plane where this is your x axis and this is your y uh, sorry this is your y axis and this is your x axis are we clear now so equal spacing should be here also it is not like that here you are writing 10 then you are writing 30 then you are writing 40 then you are writing 45 no it's not correct you will not able to represent that in that form for the simplicity and for the easy understanding the spacing must be either you can put 5 10 15 20 multiples of 5 multiples of 10 multiples of 1 that doesn't matter it depends what particular data or what numerical data you want to represent are we clear okay so marks of the students are there subjects i have taken hindi english show, uh, social science science and mathematics the child seems to be very very inclusive with science can you see that because he got 100 out of 100 in science but in hindi he got 30 but in english he got 60 marks how to read this is also very important now how to read now if i talk about we'll see from here this must be matching. It's 30. So how many marks we got in Hindi? 30 marks. Clear? Now if I talk about English, we have to see this. He got 60 marks in English. If I talk about social science, just see. In social science, if I draw out, his marks are in between. So this midway is called 45. Why is if I talk about the scale even? Let us consider this is x axis. So, if you see clearly that the first particular thing after one there are bars in between. Okay, so this is the way there are bars. So, there will be like this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, big one, 6, 7, 8, 9. Are we clear? Similarly, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19. This way the bars are there. And hence we can count. So that is by 45. Clear? Next, we are having science. Science I have already shown to you. He is a studious child who is getting 100 out of 100 in science. He will be a scientist very soon now. So he is getting 100 out of 100 in science. Clear? Now let's see my subject, Max. How many marks is getting in maths? We have to see. Let's see how many marks he is getting in maths. I believe he is getting not 80, not 80 exact. He is not getting 80 marks. Let's see. I believe yes, he is getting 79 marks. So 79 marks out of 100. And science, social science 45 out of 100. English 60 out of 100. Hindi 30 out of 100. It means are we clear about how to represent? Clear? This is the way. Now, if I ask you in which subject he got the highest marks, what is the answer? Answer is science. Answer is science. 100 out of 100. In which subject he got the lowest marks? Hindi. He is getting 13 marks. So, this way we can have different types of question. Maybe a paragraph is given to you and the examiner or anyone who is taking your test or asking something, he or she may put any question related to biograph. Okay, I can ask, okay, tell me the mean of this particular data, the mean marks, the average marks, what we have to do? If I have to find the average, what is the formula of average? Sum of all the observations upon total number of observations. So, how many subjects are there? One, two, three, four, five subjects are there. What are the marks in the? 30. What are the marks in English? 60. What are the marks in Social Science? 45. Science 100 and Math 79 upon 5 and hence you will be getting the answer. Can we find the mode of this data? Can we? Can we? 
Can you tell me what is the mode of given data? This is the homework field. You have to tell me, is it possible to find the mode of this graph? Or we can find the average only. Let's see. I want to see whether you will be able to answer or not. Or median of this data. Can we? Can we find the median of this data also? Let's see how many of you will answer. Okay. So this is the homework. I hope you are clear with this. Last thing that I need to discuss about is the scale. It is very important. Whenever you consider a graph, scale is very, very important. Why? Because just understand why scale is important. Because if you are considering, I told you, if you are not considering the proper thing, you are not able to solve it. I told you, if you are not considering the proper thing, you are not able to solve it. Yes? Why is scale? Scale here means 1 centimeter. This gap is 1 centimeter. From 0 to 10, it is considered 1 centimeter. This 1 centimeter is equal to 10 marks. Next, again 10 marks, 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 and so on. That is why scaling is very important. And do remember, whenever you are representing and whenever you are making biographs, you have to write the scale also. What scale you have used? For example, I have considered 1 centimeter is equal to 10. I hope you are clear with this video now. We'll meet tomorrow in the next video where I'll show you how to make bad graphs. Today just we know, uh, we read and we learned about how to study the bad graphs. Okay? In the next video we'll study how to represent how to make bad graphs. Clear with this? Take care and I hope you all are safe at your places and you are doing absolutely fine. Take care.